All right, so what's up guys got another video going today about This scooter We'll talk a little bit about that one, too, but I'm probably gonna do another video on this one but For this scooter I got this About a year ago now, and it was a 50 cc scooter so I Was you know driving it around I built the engine up did all this and that and then basically uh, the engine actually blew up in it and that was actually after building it for a little bit that that happened um, was, I was probably a couple couple hundred miles in and then yeah it blew and then I, do, I was in the thinking terms of well hey should I just buy another 50 engine and build it up or how should I do that so, I ended up going with the route of, hey, why don't I swap out the engines in it? So, that's what I did. I took out the 50cc engine, swapped it out for a 150. Uh, I put the 150 engine in this at about 450 miles. And we're at 638 right now. Got the gas gauge going up. But, yeah, so, this is basically just going to be like a quick pros and cons of it. This is going to be um, how much money, give or take, it'll cost you. I mean, you can be more resourceful about it, or you can just go all out for it. Um, now, yes, going from a 50 to a 150, it there's definitely a speed difference, for sure. Um, there's more power behind it. I mean, it's obviously a given jump in the engine size by three. Um, this is a small body scooter. There's usually a couple different ones. There's the small body. There's the big bodies. Then you have, you know, obviously like the ruckus style. Um, then you have the trikes and all that good stuff. But so first thing, um, the pros, once I switch out the engine, I mean, not all of them come with this, but I switched it out for the disc rear brakes so that's definitely nice um you got the exhaust so it sound it sounds it this exhaust is actually really loud i mean i thought that exhaust was loud but this exhaust is loud like loud loud um besides that so we have this i mean you can you know it has a deeper tone to it so it doesn't sound so scootery if you're not into scooters and stuff like that i get it you know but um, I just find them fun. They're fun. They're a fun thing to mess with. I mean, you're getting 80 miles per gallon on these things, probably a little bit more if you don't mess with them. But that's pretty. That's pretty good. Um, let's see. And then I had to run once I switched out carbs in the engine. I had to run an intake, and since I was looking all over for like a, a setup where it would kind of come out and scoop over, so the air would actually direct into it. Um, that wasn't a very easy task so I had to like actually get up in there and make my own intake for it so this is all I made all this this whole intake for it um, got the little pod filter try to get the red to match um, and then you have trans um, with the kickstart delete um, basically <clears throat> we have the 1500 rpm yellow contra spring in the back there is the kevlar belt and then i forget the weight size in this i i've messed with this thing so many times i forgot what i did do and what i didn't do to it i got you got the new tire on the back um i got the rims painted all black that way it kind of blends in they were chrome before if you go back in some of my older videos you'll see it You'll see. You'll actually see it from when it was a 50 cc too. Then it didn't have any of this stuff done to it. Um, and then of course you have the bigger carb rejetted over. Um, the current jetting setting on it is a 38 pilot, and then a 128 main jet. And when that was all transferred over, um, for a while I was doing a little bit of um, tuning with the idle air fuel um, intake. Uh, 
because I was shooting crazy fireballs out of this thing, and I was trying to tone it down a little bit because I was actually driving it one day, and I had a guy pull up next to me and say, hey, 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 you're on fire. That's a problem. And he was, like, freaking out, and I told him it was fine. But I guess he wasn't used to that kind of stuff. So, And then, actually, the same levers I have on that, the CNC six-way adjustable levers I have on here. So that's kind of nice. I'll actually start it up in a minute too so you guys can hear it and then you got the i switched out the leds got in back behind the headlight housing and um took out switched them out for the leds that way they're a little bit brighter than the stock bulbs um yeah another thing was this when i had to switch over it never originally had a disc back brake so it was drum so the drum back brake never had a light switch separated from this it was all one connected piece so i had to buy this buy this i had to like move back this plastic and cut it back so it would actually recess in there because once you put these two panels together it wouldn't want to recess because obviously there was it was all overhanging over so i had to recess that out um but yeah let's go ahead and start it up and uh hear how she sounds So yeah, it's definitely uh, pretty loud. Um, overall, if you are looking, if you ever did want to actually sit there and try to swap over from a 50cc to a 150cc, this one has a built engine in it, but um, if you did think about sw switching over, I mean, first you'd have to buy the 50cc scooter that you wanted. I like this kind of body style, the more Yamaha Zuma style with the dual headlights like that. Um, let's see, you're looking at, for a new engine, there'd be about 275 for the engine, um, the exhaust was 70, you have to run the switch, the switch was 18, obviously, you'd need all those parts, you need the new brake set, uh, brake lever, brake cylinder, brake line, uh, caliper, uh, the new tire, that was about 45. All the brake parts, probably about 80. Um, let's see. I got also have the um, Glocksol High perform Performance um, Orange Cooling Fan in there. Uh, that was only like 19 bucks. And then, let's see. I was running a new starter in it. The Performance CDI up there, uh, that was only like $12.00. Um, the new the the orange ignition coil that was about eleven dollars, the pot air filter about eight nine dollars, the tube that to actually make this, um, that was about nine dollars for the stainless, and then you had to get uh, I had to get a rubber coupler to go from the carb to the piping about an inch and a quarter in a diameter, so there was another seven bucks. The jetting kit for it was about 13 The carb itself was about $40, $30-$40. And then obviously I wanted to switch out the um, the belt. There was another 20 Let's See the belt. The contra spring was about 14 I never messed with the clutch components. The clutch springs were already 1500 RPM springs. So, And then the LED lights I got in like a 10-pack for like... It was like 27 bucks for all of them and I only used two there and one back in there but yeah so there's a rough price range or you can go a more resourceful route trying to pick up one of these in a 150 cc version and yeah but that's it for this video guys just trying to give you a quick rundown on it if you like the video leave a like if you want to see more videos on this or this go ahead 
hit that subscribe button. Also, like, comment, and share on any social media. See ya.